Hello, uh, this is Coach Dunlavey, the Director of Recruiting uh, here at NCSA and here for your tip of the day uh, on October 2nd. Uh, we're going to talk about, you know, NAI and what is the differences in NAI and um, NCAA. So just to kind of get you up to speed, you know, on those differences, N or NAIA is just a different governing body. Um, a lot of people know NCAA tournament and all that. They have different uh, recruiting guidelines, uh, you know, conference championships, those things. NAIA is just a different governing body uh, out there. They actually have uh, over 250 schools that are spread out throughout the United States that are NAIA schools. They have 70, uh, over 77,000 athletes. Uh, they have 21 conferences. Um, and they gave out over $800 million in scholarships uh, in last year's uh, class. So the difference is for those, it first starts with academics. So NCAA has their academic requirements for you to be on a roster or to even, uh, you know, or to get a scholarship. The same way with the NAIA. They have different. Um, so you have to meet two out of the three requirements, which means you have to have a 2.0 or higher uh, in your, you know, on your transcript uh, or an 860 uh, on your SAT, 18 on your ACT uh, or graduate in the upper half of your class. OK, so you have to actually meet two out of those three requirements. Uh, to to get a scholarship or be on a roster at NAI schools. Um, NAI schools are four year institutions. Uh, so that's one thing to think about. Uh, if you're looking for an opportunity, you, you want to go to a four year institution. All NAI schools are going to be uh, four year uh, you know, degree programs. So um, obviously they have different um, number of, of scholarships that they can offer compared to maybe a Division I school or a Division II school in NCAA. Uh, and again, that's by sport, just like it is in the NCAA. They have a certain amount of scholarships uh, that they're able to put together. Now, with most NAIA schools, a full ride scholarship um, is not always going to be at, at an NAIA school. Um, in division in NCAA, Division One men and women's basketball and football, if you get offered a scholarship, those are full ride scholarships. Okay, but at NAIA level, it's kind of like Division Two, where they're going to break those up. They have a certain amount of scholarships for their programs. They're going to break those scholarships up. So academics again becomes important. You know, the higher the, you know the higher the, the grades you have, the higher the test scores you have. The better, package, the better packages that these NEI schools uh, can put together for you, you know, to make it uh, definitely affordable for you to uh, choose that institution. So, again, the difference is, you know, they still, you know, no rule changes or anything in regards to, uh, you know, how they play their sports or anything like that. Uh, one little tidbit that's nice, NEI just started women's uh flag football uh, so they do give scholarships now and women's flag football uh, so that's exciting news uh, that they added uh just in the last uh, two months but again you know as you're looking at uh, you know options out there make sure you keep your options open to nai schools uh, because they are great opportunities you know again to get uh you know play a sport you love get an opportunity to to get a scholarship and, and you know be able to eventually get that four-year degree at those institutions. So again, that's your tip of the day for NAIA and what the differences are. I hope you enjoy your weekend.